In this video you will learn what are the differences between VS Code and WebStorm for your everyday editing. A lot of students are asking me what is better to use, VS Code or Intelligence IDEA and in particular WebStorm. And in order to answer these questions, we must understand all pros and cons of these two products. First of all, you must understand that VS Code is an editor and WebStorm or Intelligence IDEA is a fully blown IDE. And here is the first problem that I see with VS Code. It is an editor which they try to make an IDE, which essentially means it gets more and more features of fully blown IDE, it becomes slower with time and it is not an editor anymore. You can't even compare it with something like Sublime, which we had previously. It has much more features inside. But the main question is how it differs from WebStorm. As you can see, Visual Studio Code was released 8 years ago. In comparison, JetBrains first release was 23 years ago, which essentially means if we are talking about the amount of features or how polished the product is, obviously JetBrains is winning here. They simply had more time to make their product polished. And now here is the biggest difference and the reason why 90% of the beginners are picking VS Code and not WebStorm. Because essentially VS Code is completely free and you can use it on any platform. On the other hand, WebStorm is a paid subscription-based product. As you can see here, for monthly billing for individual use, you must realistically pay 8 euros and 21 cent. It is not extremely steep price, but in comparison to completely free product, obviously VS Code wins, which essentially means if you don't want to spend any money on your editor, you simply want to use something free, VS Code is the best choice for you, this is a no-brainer. So from my point of view, VS Code is great for beginners, because you simply start writing code, you don't really need a lot of features from your editor, and VS Code covers all these needs. WebStorm is more suitable for advanced development. Why is that? Because it indexes the project. This is a huge difference. It is a full-blown IDE, it indexes all files, all classes, all methods in your projects, and it uses this information to bring you the best possible autocomplete, replacement, search, whatever you need. Inside VS Code you don't have all this stuff, it is still an editor with some features from IDE, but it is far behind from WebStorm if we are talking about refactoring. If you are working on the huge project you need to move lots of files, change names or refactor something, it is much simpler to do it in WebStorm. But from lots of advanced developers I hear that by using WebStorm they really feel safe. Because you are breaking much less stuff with WebStorm simply because how good it refactors the project. You have this functionality like save delete or if you are moving the file you are totally sure that all your imports will be updated. Another thing that I don't like in VS Code is its git functionality. I'm sorry for interruption, but I just want to let you know that I have lots of advanced courses on different web technologies where we create real applications and prepare for the interviews. You can find the link in the description box below. Now let's jump back into the video. It is super limited and it is really basic. Yes, you can switch branches, you can make a commit and you can push your changes. Basically this is it. Anything more than that looks not polished or is not possible to do at all with the default functionality. You need to install some plugins and they are not even covering everything that you need. Even such thing like git blame is not there by default. In comparison the functionality of git inside WebStorm is amazing, especially a tool to resolve your conflicts in the project. It is simply the best possible merge tool that I saw in my life. Its UI is clean and it is easy to understand what changes you want to apply. So as I already said, WebStorm is really good for a big production applications. If you just write some small projects, VS Code will be much faster. Even starting a small project with WebStorm and indexing it constantly, you don't really need that. 
You don't have lots of stuff to refactor and VS Code will work just fine there. A lot of people will tell you that WebStorm is eating lots of RAM on your machine when you are using it for a long time. VS Code has another problem, it doesn't really work well with huge projects. It simply becomes too laggy and sometimes it lags so much that you can't do something with the project. So to sum this up, both these solutions are amazing. Obviously, if you don't want to pay money, then VS Code is the way to go, but for advanced developers, which are working on a big production applications, I highly recommend to use WebStorm, it is a much better solution for that. And if your company are paying for WebStorm instead of you, then it is obviously a no-brainer for me, you will be much better satisfied to use WebStorm. And if you are interested how to configure VS Code in a super minimalistic look, make sure to check this video where I covered that.